front court. 13, 8 and 4 for Alex Saar, the French next star. In his first game on Sunday, plus it was... And there's another... You know, we've both gone through and done all the prep for oh, the season. Boy. There's going to be no such thing as an easy game in this competition. Well, absolutely. Couple from 30, it was all right. Typical athlete mindset, always looking for a freebie. McCarran off the back of the iron, Alex Saar. Oh, courtside. Well, that's probably where I draw the line. Oh, maybe 13. 14's <laughs> all right. They're old enough to understand. I think, now, to be fair to Jordan, I think that... that we sound like a broken record, but it is clear that just from all these games before the Blitz, that other teams have looked it up. Loose ball fell to Jason Kadee. Humphrey size. That. Just small steps right now. Humphreys takes it at Alec. Shot clock at 10 for Kadee. Cotton almost came up with a steal. Just trying to set a tone. Marshall feeds Humphreys and he's got See what he can do. Only 10 minutes in game one, Nick Marshall. He, it's a hard one to understand, Pete. Because everyone that you talk to who knows anything. You look at it right now. Mitch McCarran is playing the full Karen, Kiddy, and Marshall. So they are just incredibly small. The uh, three time MVP, and um, we know what he means to the franchise. So. As I said, doing everything we absolutely can, um, but no one's going to get rotations through. But for us, uh, you know, focusing on the defensive end and, and getting guys minutes and finding out different different combinations of players that can work for us, it's been fantastic. And I know, I know John and the staff have, have really felt that the group's really bonded together. Um, I, he probably hates you saying that, just yeah. say that he's good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, Kyle's a stud. Uh, Hiram Harris is actually really timing. We, we, we jumped on it quickly and the planning started. Yeah. 43-26 here at the Gold Coast Convention and Exhibition Centre. If you have just joined us, it was 37-11 at quarter time, Perth's favour. Sarah's blocked. The Harris banking at times. Change is difficult at the at the easiest of, of times, I think. Um, especially at a club like Perth that's revered, has had uh, unparalleled success. It, it yes. which didn't help. Yep. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, disconnection through it all, but we are at a really good spot as an organisation. Uh, he's got the players that he wants. They're going to fit his system and play his way. Um, and it's, yeah, and it's, you know, it, it, it's... Here and, and again, it's a good problem to have for coaches, but there's a lot of chess pieces in this team. Hiram Harris comes over and all these players that... Talented Perth team, there's no doubt about that. And they bat deep. We saw Michael Harris catch fire and that's... There will be time. It could be a closing lineup or something where Perth could roll out Bryce in the one, Jordan Usher in the two. This new import in the three. Saar at the top of the key. Back out for Webster. First game is, yes, we talk about his turnovers and ball handling, but the off-ball defense, the falling asleep just there. Could be a bit of one and done there. <laughs> Once they see the size of the invoice, you might. Saar blocked. Isaac Humphreys denies him. Saar wins it back. Pinder and Harris can't finish off for the Wildcats. Flowers to the other end. Oh! Josh Giddy, obviously the, the prime example, but the talent's there. It's the spot these days. It's a good spot to be. Glenelg's not a bad little part of the world. Yeah, but he can find himself as a champion. He's coming to the NBL for round one. That's unbelievable. I mean, we know it's going to be an unbelievable season. All set up for the, the biggest one yet. Injured. Would have had a chance with some conversation, no doubt. We talked about the Galloways and their potential. Look at guys like Sam Wardenberg and Sam Menenga in Cairns. Taron Armstrong is another one. Level, because you look around the rest of the league, the, the first two games, Shannon Scott and Mitch Norton. And Mitch Norton, for sure, they're going to get up. Humphrey's no good at the other end. Oh, boy. And make it in, do it in transition as well. Him out on the break. He's an exceptional rebounder, but get him going downhill. Mm. Put him in those after a ball reversal. A lot of teams like to do it. That's one of his biggest assets. If he's downhill, good things are going to happen when he's got ball in hand. No doubt. With Alex Ives. But to adjust to the way the game's officiated, the defensive pressure, etc. So, 
yeah, and again, it's all about it's up to him, obviously, and if he can understand the process that comes. You got 28 games. It's a little backdoor pass to Kyle Zerdy. Galloway. True. To Terrier. Alex Saar to the rack. Did everything. Shot clock down into single figures once again. The Sunday Detch blocked from behind. And Saar for the Wildcats. McCarran sent packing by Aquera. Has to shoot against the clock and, and get his own rebound. It's 18 years of age out of Auckland in New Zealand. 21 turnovers for Adelaide. Had 10 of those in the